Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Carl, aka Carl Drum Tech, and today I'm gonna teach you about axes and taps, or bucks. Cue the music. All right, if you guys are finding me for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's the red button down below that says subscribe. That way you're notified anytime I put out a new video in regards to marching arts, marching bands, drum lines, into percussion, drum core, all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single upload. Now also make sure that notification bell is ringing as well. That way for sure you'll be notified anytime I put out a new video. So subscribe, make sure that notification bell is ringing, and let's get the video. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you about bucks, axes, and taps. Uh, this is a video that's gonna live in my learning portal at Ensemble Block. If you want more information about that, click the link in the video description below. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of video you will see. I mean, it's exactly the video you will see in my Ensemble, uh, ensemble Block portal. Um, only there's no music notation. Uh, but when you are a subscriber to my online portal, uh, there will be music notation that scrolls along with you know anything I play with. And uh, you know you will be able to pause, slow down, loop. Uh, you know, anything you need to do in order to learn this stuff, okay? Um, I know maybe access and taps is something that, you know, you already have down, no problem, great. Um, but promise, there will be more content, more advanced stuff. So if you want to learn flam drags and, you know, how to play book reports, it'll be in there. So get in on the ground floor. I uh, can't guarantee that the price, whatever it is over there is right now, is going to stay that way. So um, I would hop on this right now, okay? So otherwise, uh, check out this video and uh, hopefully you enjoy it and hopefully you get something out of it and uh, here we go. Okay, now let's start doing some bucks or accents and taps. And one of the simplest ways to uh, start accents and taps is to start with something we already know. Like for example, we know eight on a hand. Okay, all accents, all legatos. And now let's do uh, eight taps, okay? Three inch heights, remember, okay? One and two and three and four and. Okay, so let's do eight accents and then eight taps. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So the principles we learned before, right, with eight on a hand, okay, still apply. So nice and bouncy, legato strokes, upstrokes, right? Okay, and then on the last note, one and two and three and four and, you're gonna do a downstroke. Okay, that way you're low for the eight taps after that. One and two and three and four and. The secret and the key is to not add an extra oomph or extra accent uh, to the last note. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so try not to do that. Okay, so let's do eight accents and eight taps on the right and then eight accents on the left, eight, eight taps on the left. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and. 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 Good. So if you, can got, if you got that down, let's try four accents, four taps. So you're gonna go one and two and three and four and. Actually, let's do it twice on the right, twice on the left. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and. 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 One, good. Now let's cut in half again. Let's do two accents, two taps. And let's do that four times per hand. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and. 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 One. Now we're gonna do one accent, one tap. Let's do that eight times per hand. So we're gonna go one and two and three and four and 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 one. So you see how every time we're cutting it in half, okay, uh, cutting the time between the uh, accents into the taps um, into like basically what we call bucks twos, so accent tap. Like for most experienced players, like this is the bucks that they know, okay? When you say bucks, oh, it's these, right? So basically we're trying to progress to that. Um, learning just that right off the bat when you're first learning, it can be pretty difficult to control like those accents right into a low tap, right? A lot of times students are gonna go, right? I just have a hard time getting that to stop. So the best thing to do is to start with a bunch of accents first, See if you can do a downstroke in the last note and then low after, the, and then a bunch of low notes after that. Okay, and once you get used to that, cut it down. Okay, cut down the amount of notes, right? So that the transition is quicker, right? So now let's do the whole thing. We're gonna do eight accents, eight taps, one time per hand. Then we're gonna do four accents, four taps, two times per hand. Then we're gonna do two accents, two taps, 
um, four times each hand, and then we're gonna do bucks twos eight times. So uh, basically every single time it's two bars per hand. So here we go, one, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one okay so if that's too fast for you uh make sure always 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 slow it down okay and uh if you're having trouble especially with the bucks twos the accent tap okay just stick with you know eight and eight for a while Okay, that's a good uh, you know, way to learn bucks, all right? All right, hopefully you guys got something out of that video. Uh, hopefully you got an idea of you know, how to play some good accents and taps, how to teach it if you're a teacher. Uh, a good way to kind of like not just go straight into bucks twos is to you know, do some legatos first, right? And then play a bunch of taps after that. Uh, so it's a really good way to introduce people to bucks, okay? So like I said, this is the exact same video you will see uh, in my ensemble, ensemble block learning portal um, and much more. I mean, it's, it's, this is one video out of like 10 that I shot. So um, it's gonna be all in there. Again, if you want more information, click the link in the video description below, okay? Otherwise, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, do me a huge favor, hit that like button down below. If you got any questions or comments or would like to add to the conversation of access and taps and bucks, uh, leave that in the comments below as well. If you have not subscribed yet after I told you to subscribe, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single upload. Uh, you catch all these cool videos, uh, free content, free educational videos, and more cool stuff, okay? And otherwise, also, if you feel like this video could help somebody else out, make sure you share this video with them, okay? I'd really appreciate it. All right, so cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. You should totally watch more of my videos by clicking over here and subscribing over here. Peace. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.